Hey, good morning, everybody from the Popo. Presley, Jake, and I have come over to a different property with Graham this morning. We're looking for bush buck, maybe impala, bush pig, uh, clip springer, and probably warthog too. Just, those are the, those are the primary ones to look out for and get a good shot at something really good. I'm taking Press and I right in the back right now. Jake's in the cab. Come along with us. See a lot. Should see a lot of game today. It's a beautiful day. All right, Joe, it happened so fast. We just, just were uh, riding down the road here. A big warthog crossed the road right down into this little swag here. First, he was able to get a shot off quickly. We thought he missed it. Didn't even act hurt at all, but these, you'll see him in a minute, these pigs are really thick, dense animals. I think a warthog is bigger than most people think. So, anyway, he got him. He didn't run far. Yeah, it is a good one. Big shot, see? Oh, yeah. Big, big. Nice one. Nice one. Good job, Grizzly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good girl, Grizzly. Good big boy, See, it came out. Angles. Oh, great yeah. shot. How's that body? Looks like Jake made a good shot on a bush buck. It's a dandy bush buck. 
Graham and I spotted him right across the road. Luckily he stopped for us. Yeah. He turned his head, I know. We saw him run across. Andy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful bush block. Yeah. Thanks. Good shooting. Well done. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. Well, Thank you. Well, first bush block. Didn't have that. All right, y'all had a really good morning. It's not it's not a lot of days you go out with some specific animals that you want that you're after. And then those ac ac animals actually present good shots. So really good morning. Happened really fast on the warthog this morning. Just a quick, quick shot. Just take the shot to give you and it was an old one. And then the bush buck across the road, Graham and I saw it and luckily it stopped before it got any thick stuff, Jake was able to get out and get a shot. That's one of the animals Jake's been after for a long time. And I think he's, he was with me when I got mine here seven years ago. And he, I think he's been with a couple other clients when he was helping guide over here. So we're going to set these up for pictures. This is the same same dam here on this water hole that uh, was set up. We took pictures of my bush bug and, and Impala seven years ago. So we'll watch them get everything set up. Really, really nice bush buck there. We saw one earlier this morning, but just didn't feel right. It looked to be a younger one, so we passed. We're glad we did. Now this is a good, good one. Hey, hey. <whistles> Grizzly saw some warthog and took off after him. Alright, that was kind of fast and furious. We kind of had to jump off the truck. Saw that group of Impala. We had kind of relaxed a little bit after we took the other pictures. And when you see a big Impala ram, you kind of have to take the shot they give you. You see a lot of them, and a lot of them look alike, but when you see a big one, you immediately know it's a good one. And you take the shot they give you. So I'm going to set him up for pictures. We've got a big water hole over here. Probably more of that than more just a view game than the hunt. So. All right, get there. Set up for photo there. We're gonna get this one back to the skinning shed. I think Precious said he's gonna try to do a European mount with this one, just a flat skin, lay on the floor for a rug. And uh, I'll probably go eat lunch. Brought lunch with us in this afternoon. I'm gonna try to find me a clip springer. Really small animal, not easy to find, but the way our luck's going today, I think we may find one. So, you know, stay with us, we'll be right back. We'll probably riding around, it might be up in the mountains, foothill, just on the edge of the mountains where the clip springers like to stay. So.
Those things. Some of my favorite.